What's going on, y'all? So, we're going to be repop, uh, tra uh, transplanting, I believe that's the word, taking this plant from this pot to this pot, right? And the reason why I'm doing that is because the plant, the, it just looks like it's not, like, it's performing many different flowers, like, it's doing good, but the, it just seems like it's something is not quite right. So, I'm putting it in a new pot, and I think it might be all of the rocks that I have at the bottom, but being that this is a strawberry plant, but we will see. Got a little spider on it, not a fan. All right, let's get into it. So, but first I'm going to take off all these strawberries. Let me show y'all them. And this is a um, alpine strawberry. So I guess they grow smaller or something. Where's that strawberry? Alrighty. So here's how they look and see that the strawberry, they just look a little dingy. <laughs> and it could be my little, um... well, we'll see. I know one thing though, it needs a new pot. All right, so. We're gonna set these to the side. And again, this video is more for the replay. Check this out. All right, first things first, we're gonna put the dirt up in this pot so we can make sure it gets plenty of dirt. I would say if you were, um, never mind. All right. So we got some dirt in her. That may be too much, but no worries, because we can always take some out. Now we're going to take her. Yeah, see, she, like she grown, but just some, some ain't quite right. And I got the plant over my compost container, so I know y'all probably like. So I can be careful, make sure I'm not making a mess. I will be outside, but it is. Huh. I'm usually outside, but it's been cold. And it's actually. And we try our best not to damage any roots. So we're going to be as gentle on the plant as possible. Let's look at the roots. Well, she was doing okay. It seems like she needed like more oxygen to her roots. But look at them roots, man. So she was doing her thing, but yeah, that the roots needed more oxygen. Hopefully this container will give the roots more oxygen and 
Make sure I water her a little better. Than, I could be watering her a little better. All right, so we're going to take some of And I want to expose more of her to the more of her top. Boom, that's perfect. As y'all can see, y'all can see more. So, sure, so this area will be able to breathe more. Nice. I'm going to actually use some of... Nah, I'm gonna give it some fresh dirt. And we're going to hope, which now that I know her roots are were bound, they need more oxygen. She should perform a lot better and figure out what season she's in. Cause it's so weird in Colorado. And then that, her being in the house does not make it easiest. All right, let's um, clean it up. Now, I don't know if this is the best technique. This is something that I learned from my, um, I want to say grandmother, but a lot of these flowers are not going to produce that well. And I want her to put energy in, in rebuilding herself and growing. So I'm gonna cut these, most of these flowers off. Maybe leave some of the big ones. Yeah, we're gonna cut these. Cause they're not gonna do much of anything. She needs definitely more water. strawberry on here but we're going to get rid of these little flowers this is all part of cultivation get rid of some of these dry leaves not too many we don't want to get rid of too many especially these big ones because they'd be like the little um they'll be like her little elder Elder leaves. Yeah, that's way better. All right, now. Only because we want her to, her roots to kind of fill in. I, ne I definitely have to water her more. She's gonna need some. Um, well, I'm new. I'm fertilizing my plants. Actually, I'm ha I'm going through a fertilizer phase right now. So her new growth is looking good. So. All right, give you another view. This is what I'm working with. Now her middle is exposed more. All right, y'all stay blessed.